Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Singh. Today I am going to teach about the Advanced Geotechnical Engineering Unit number 5th and Lecture number 34. Today's my topic is Allowable Bearing Capacity of a Soil. After watching this video lecture, if you have any doubt, you can contact to me. And you can also write an email on saurabh.singh at the rate mygyanbihar.com. Now come on the learning objective and learning outcome. Here is the learning objective to provide the knowledge about the allowable bearing capacity of soil and uh, to involve the application of scientific technical principle of planning and less design of foundation along with the soil improvement techniques. In learning outcome, student will get deeper knowledge about the geotechnical engineering practices applied to the real life problem of designing of a structure. And student will learn to understand the theoretical and practical aspect of allowable bearing capacity of soil uh, bearing capacity. What is the allowable bearing capacity? We will see here. It is the recommendation for the allowable uh, bearing capacity, which is represented by QAS to be used for design is the based on the minimum of either. First one is given limiting the settlement to toler tolerable amount. Second point is given the ultimate bearing capacity, which considered soil strength as computed in the following section. The allowable bearing capacity uh, is based on the shear control is obtained by the reducing the ultimate bearing capacity. As you can see the formula of here, QSS will be equal to Q ultimate upon shear force. The safety factor, uh, safety factor is based on the types of soil. It may be cohesive soil and it may be cohesionless soil. Reliability of soil parameter, structure information, structural information, and consultant causes. Now come on the allowable bearing capacity again. Most building codes provide an allowable settlement limit for the foundation, which may be well below the settlement drive corresponding to QAS given by the equation, which is uh, you will see uh, in next slide. Thus, the bearing capacity corresponding to the allowable settlement must also be taken into the consider consideration. Bearing capacity equation is here and it is given by the Terzaghi bearing capacity theory. Terzaghi, uh, he given uh, this bearing capacity theory in 1943. Was the, Terzaghi was the first to present the com pre comprehensive theory of evolution of the ultimate bearing capacity of rough silo foundation. According to this theory, foundation is silo if depth df uh, is less than or equal than its width. Later investigators, however, have suggested that foundation with df equal to three to four times their width may be defined as the silo foundation. As you can see here, uh, Tajagahi suggested that for a continuous or strip foundation, failure surface in the soil at ultimate load may be assumed to be similar to that shown in figure on slide number 11 the effect of the soil above the bottom of the foundation may also be assumed to be replaced by the equivalent surcharge which, which will be equal to q will be equal to y into df where y, y is the uh, unit weight of soil now come on the uh, again on the bearing capacity theory of a trajaghi which is given by the trajaghi the failure zone under the foundation can be separated into three parts as you will see uh, in figure 4.6 4. the triangular zone acd immediate under the foundation the radial shear zone adf and cdtf with the curve dtf and df being arches of the logarithmic uh, spiral. Two triangular Rankine passive zones are here, which is represented by AFH and CTFG. Here, you can see the figure, which is showing the uh, bearing capacity of a, a soil, and uh, which is, uh, the load is acting by the 
intensity of foundation as you can see the angle CAD and ACD are assumed to be equal to this soil friction angle. Note that with the replacement of the soil above the bottom of the foundation and equivalent surcharge Q, the shear resistance the soil along the fair surface GI and HG was neglected. As you can see here, the Rajagahi uh, bearing capacity image is here, which is showing the uh, in, in, you can also say this is showing the inversion of the foundation, which is uh, uh, which we uh, calculate by the using of unit weight cohesion and friction angle. As you can see in this image, that will be your width of foundation. And this is your QS which is acting on this soil and immersion will be like this in this direction. And there is also one figure which is showing the surcharge pressure of a foundation and this is your wedge zone, radial shear zone, load shear zone and passive zone. These are the showing the immersion of this foundation as you can see here this is your depth and that will be your uh, total width of this foundation and that will be your P, which is which is known as the pressure intensity of soil. Now, the ultimate bearing capacity Q uh, QUST of the foundation now can be obtained by the considering the equilibrium of the triangular wedge ACD shown in the figure below. As you can see, ACD which is showing in the in the form of uh, triangular, and there is a B which will be equal to two a small v and that is your qs which is acting on the soil now come on the uh, bearing capacity equation Terjagahi bearing capacity C capacity equation is represented by the uh, 0 0.5 by ny sy plus q and qsq plus c and c sc where b is equals to width of the footing y will be equal to unit weight of the soil below the foundation level and here Q will be equal to Y into DF and NY and Q and NC are bearing uh, capacity factor which is depend on the angle of shearing resistance as you will see in the table number 41. This is the equation of uh, uh, bearing capacity of a uh, soil QST will be equal to 0 0.5 BY NY SY plus Q and Q SQ plus C and C plus SC and this is your safe factor uh, for the Tajabi equation. If your uh, foundation will be squared, it will be 0 0.81 into 1.3. If your shape of foundation will be circular, it will be 0 0.61 and 1.3. If your shape of your foundation will be rectangular, it will be 1, 1 to 0 0.2 upon B upon L. B means width of the foundation L means length of the foundation as you can see in this table now Trajavi bearing theory for the local shear failure we will see here Trajavi suggested the following relationship for the uh, local shear failure in this soil which is equal to uh, 0 0.5 by nu y sy plus q n u q sq plus c u n c u c s where as you can see n u y n u q and n u c are the uh, modified bearing factor which is represented by the c u will be represented by the two by third capital c and here is a may force bearing capacity equation which is also used in the finding of bearing capacity of a soil in 1951 it, this theory is published and it shows the bearing capacity theory that could be applied to rough silo and deep foundation, the, fair, the failure surface at the ultimate load under the continuous silo foundation assumed by the metaphor is the shown in the figure below. Is, this is your figure which is showing the immersion of the uh, foundation and by this equation you will calculate the bearing capacity of that soil. In this figure ABC, the elastic triangular BCD is the radial shear zone with the CD being an arch of the long spiral and BDE the mixed shear zone in which shear varies 
Shear varies between the limits of radial and plane shears depending on the depth of the roughness of the foundation. The plane B is called an equivalent free surface. And here is the formula of uh, calculating the bearing capacity of Tachagahi. As you can see, if there will be vertical load, this formula will be used. Q, QUST will be equal to 0.5 BY NY SY DY plus QN QSQ DQ plus CNC SC DC. If your load will be inclined, it will be uh, like 0.5 BY NY IY DY plus Q and Q, I, Q, D, Q plus C and C, I, C and D, C, as you can see, this equation. Now come on the uh, penance bearing capacity equation, which is uh, like if uh, your foundation will be act like this, how we, we will uh, calculate the bearing capacity of soil. By this formula, you can easily calculate the bearing of soil. Now, what will be the effect of the water table on the bearing capacity? As you can see here, the equation for the ultimate bearing capacity by the Tarjavi has been developed based on the assumption that the water table is located at the grade depth. If the water table is located close to the foundation, the equation needs to be modification. Means, uh, whenever we are using Tarjavi equation, we are thinking our water table is very low. That's why uh, uh, our uh, bearing capacity of soil is uh, good. The effective unit weight of the soil is used in the bearing capacity equation for the computing the ultimate capacity. As you can see, the water table is slid over the base of the footing as this would, at the very least, causes construction problem. If it is, however, Q term require adjusting so that surcharge pressure is an effective value and an effective unit weight must be used in the formula. As you can see here, there is water table below the base of the footing and there is water table is a above of the base. Now come on the uh, bearing capacity of a mat foundation and uh, how you will cal calculate the bearing capacity of mat foundation you will know here. As you can see here, the uh, cross ultimate bearing capacity of mat foundation can be determined by the same equation used for the cello foundation, which is equal to QST is equals to 0.5 BY NY SY IY DY plus Q and QSQ IQ DQ plus NC SC IC and DC. The term B in the equation above this, uh, it is the the smallest dimension of the mat foundation, the net ultimate capacity of mat foundation here will be QST minus Q. And the net allowable soil bearing capacity is also given, which is equal to QUST net upon safety factor. For mat on clay, the factor of safety should not be less than 3 under dead load or maximum live load. Under most working condition, the factor of safety against the bearing capacity failure of mat on sand is very large, as you can see here. Now we will see the uh, uh, bearing capacity from the SPT method, which we will find by for the mat foundation. The net allowable bearing capacity for mat construction over the granular soil deposits can be adequately determined from the standard penetration resistance number which is given here by this formula you can easily determine the you can easily determine the bearing capacity for the mat foundation derived corresponding to QAAS given by the equation, which is uh, you will see uh, in next slide. Thus, the bearing capacity corresponding to the allowable settlement must also be taken into the consider consideration. Bearing capacity equation is here, and it is given by the Terjagahi bearing capacity theory. Terjagahi uh, he given uh, this bearing capacity theory in 1943. Was the Tajagi was the first 
to present the com comprehensive theory of evolution of the ultimate bearing capacity of rough cello foundation. According to this theory, foundation is cello if depth df uh, is less than or equal than its width. Later investigator, however, have suggested that foundation with df equal to three to four times their width may be defined as the cello foundation. As you can see here, uh, Trajagahi suggested that for a continuous or a strip foundation, failure surface in the soil at ultimate load may be assumed to be similar to that shown in figure on slide number 11. The effect of the soil above the bottom of the foundation may also be assumed to be replaced by the equivalent surcharge, which, which will be equal to Q will be equal to Y into DF where y, y is the uh, unit weight of soil. Now come on the, uh, again, on the bearing capacity theory of a trajaghi, which is given by the trajaghi. The failure zone under the foundation can be separated into three parts, as you will see uh, in figure 4.6. 4. The triangular zone ACD immediate under the foundation, the radial, CR zone ADF and CDTF with the curve DTF and DF being arches of the logarithmic uh, spiral. Two triangular Rankine passive zones are here, which is represented by AFH and CTFG. Here you can see the figure which is showing the uh, bearing capacity of a, a soil and uh, which is uh, the load is acting by the uh, intensity of foundation as you can see the angle CAD and ACD are assumed to be equal to this soil friction angle. Note that with the replacement of the soil above the bottom of the foundation and equivalent surcharge Q, the shear resistance the soil along the fair surface GI and HG was neglected. As you can see here, the Dajagahi uh, bearing capacity image is here, which is showing the, uh, in, in, you can also say this is showing the inversion of the foundation, which is, uh, uh, which we uh, calculate by the using of unit weight cohesion and friction angle. As you can see in this image, that will be your width of foundation. And this is your QS, which is acting on this soil, and immersion will be like this in this direction. And there is also one figure which is showing the surcharge pressure of a foundation, and this is your weight zone, radial shear zone, load shear zone, and passive zone. These are the showing the immersion of this foundation. As you can see here, this is your depth, and that will be your uh, total width of this foundation, and that will be your. P, which is, which is known as the pressure intensity of soil. Now, the ultimate bearing capacity Q, uh, QUST of the foundation now can be obtained by the considering the equilibrium of the triangular wedge ACD shown in the figure below. As you can see, ACD, which is showing in the, in the form of uh, triangular. And there is a B, which will be equal to 2 small b and that is your qs which is acting on the soil. Now come on the uh, bearing capacity equation. Tajagahi bearing capacity C, capacity equation is represented by the uh, 0 0.5 by ny sy plus q and qsq plus c and c sc where b is equals to width of the footing y will be equal to unit weight of the soil below the foundation level and here Q will be equal to Y into DF and NY and Q and NC are bearing uh, capacity factor, which is depend on the angle of shearing resistance, as you will see in the table number four one. This is the equation of uh, uh, bearing capacity of a uh, soil. Q S T will be equal to zero point five B Y N Y S Y plus Q and Q S Q plus C and C plus S C. And this is your safe factor uh, for the Tajabi equation. If your uh, foundation will be squared, it will be 0 
into 1.3 if your shape of foundation will be circular it will be 0 0.61 and 1.3 if your shape of your foundation will be rectangular it will be 1 1 to 0 0.2 upon b upon l b means width of the foundation l means length of the foundation as you can see in this table now Trajavi bearing theory for the local shear failure, we will see here. Trajavi suggested the following relationship for the uh, local shear failure in this file, which is equal to uh, 0 0.5 by n u y s y plus q n u q s q plus c u n c u c s, where as you can see, n u y n u q and n u c are the uh, modified bearing factor which is represented by the CU will be represented by the 2 by 3rd capital C and here is a mere force bearing capacity equation which is also used in the finding of bearing capacity of a soil in 1951 it, this theory is published and it shows the bearing capacity theory that could be applied to rough silo and deep foundation the fair the failure surface at the ultimate load under the continuous shallow foundation assumed by the metaphor is the shown in the figure below is this is your figure which is showing the immersion of the uh, foundation and by this equation you will calculate the bearing capacity of that soil in this figure abc the elastic triangular bcd is the radial shear zone with the cd being an arch of the long spiral and BDE the mixed shear zone in which shear varies shear varies between the limits of radial and plane shears depending on the depth of the roughness of the foundation. The plane B is called an equivalent free surface. And here is the formula of uh, calculating the bearing capacity of Tachavehi. As you can see, if there will be vertical load, this formula will be used. Q QUST will be equal to 0 0.5 BY NY SY DY plus QNQ SQ DQ plus CNC SC DC. If your load will be inclined, it will be uh, like 0 0.5 BY NY IY DY plus QNQ IQ DQ plus CNC IC and DC as you can see this equation. Now come on the uh, penance bearing capacity equation, which is uh, like if uh, your foundation will be act like this, how we, we, we will uh, calculate the bearing capacity of soil. By this formula, you can easily calculate the bearing of soil. Now what will be the effect of the water table on the bearing capacity? As you can see here, the equation for the ultimate bearing capacity by the Tarjavi has been developed based on the assumption that the water table is located at the grid depth. If the water table is located close to the foundation, the equation need to be modification. Means uh, whenever we are using Tarjavi equation, we are thinking our water table is very low. That's why uh, uh, our uh, bearing capacity of soil is uh, good. The effective unit weight of the soil is used in the bearing capacity equation for the computing the ultimate capacity. As you can see, the water table is slid over the base of the footing as this would, at the very least, causes construction problem. If it is, however, Q term require adjusting so that surcharge pressure is an effective value and an effective unit weight must be used in the formula. As you can see here, there is water table below the base of the footing and there is water table is a above of the base of footing. Bearing capacity of foundation, the soil must be capable of carrying the load from any engineered structure placed on it without a shear failure with the resulting settlement being tolerable for the structure. This lecture will be concerned with the evaluation of limiting shear resistance or ultimate bearing capacity required under the foundation load.
it is necessary to invest uh, investigate the both base air resistance and settlement for any structure in many cases settlement criteria will control the allowable varying capacity however there there are also a number of cases oh. where base fair in which base punches into the ground usually with the simulation uh, simulation distances the recommendation bearing capacity and here is one more a definition of bearing capacity as you can see structures such as liquid storage tank and mats are often founded on the soft soil which is usually more susceptible to bear uh, shear failure than the settlement this shear control to avoid the combination base punching with the rotation into the soil is often of more concern than the settlement for these foundation types allowable Uh, in, in, you can also say this is showing the inversion of the foundation, which is uh, uh, which we uh, calculate by the using of unit weight, cohesion, and friction angle. As you can see in this image, that will be your width of foundation, and this is your QS, which is acting on this soil, and immersion will be like this in this direction. And there is also one figure which is showing. The surcharge pressure of a foundation, and this is your wedge zone, radial shear zone, load shear zone, and passive zone. These are the showing the immersion of this foundation. As you can see here, this is your depth, and that will be your uh, total width of this foundation, and that will be your P, which is which is known as the pressure intensity of soil. Now, the ultimate bearing capacity Q. Uh, QUST of the foundation now can be obtained by the considering the equilibrium of the triangular which is CD shown in the figure below as you can see a CD which is showing in the in the form of uh, triangular and there is a B which will be equal to two small b and that is your QS which is acting on the soil. Now come on the uh, bearing capacity equation. Terjagahi bearing capacity, C, capacity equation is represented by the uh, 0 0.5 by ny sy plus q and q s q plus c and c s c where b is equals to width of the footing y will be equal to unit weight of the soil below the foundation level and here q will be equal to y into df and ny and q and c are bearing uh, capacity factor which is depend on the angle of shearing resistance as you will see in the table number 41. This is the equation of uh, uh, bearing capacity of a uh, soil QST will be equal to 0 0.5 by ny sy plus Q and Q SQ plus C and C plus SC and this is your safe factor uh, for the Tajabi equation if your uh, foundation will be square it will be 0 0.81 into 1.3 if your shape of foundation will be circular it will be 0 0.61 and 1.3 if your shape of your foundation will be rectangular it will be 1 1 to 0 0.2 upon b upon l b means width of the foundation l means length of the foundation as you can see in this table now, Trajavi bearing theory for the local shear failure, we will see here. Trajavi suggested the following relationship for the uh, local shear failure in this file, which is equal to uh, 0 0.5 by nu y sy plus q and uq sq plus c u n c u c s, where as you can see, n u y n u q and n u c are the uh, modified bearing factor which is represented by the CU will be represented by the 2 by 3rd capital C and here is a mere force bearing capacity equation which is also used in the finding of bearing capacity of a soil in 1951 it, this theory is published and it shows the bearing capacity theory that could be applied to rough shallow and deep foundation the fair 
the failure surface at the ultimate load under the continuous shallow foundation assumed by the manifold is this shown in the figure B. Uh, in, in, you can also say this is showing the inversion of the foundation which is uh, uh, which we uh, calculate by the using of unit paid cohesion and friction angle as you can see in this image that will be your width of foundation and this is your QS which is acting on this soil and immersion will be like this in this direction and there is also one figure which is showing the surcharge pressure of a foundation and this is your weight zone radial shear zone load shear zone and passive zone these are the showing the immersion of this foundation as you can see here this is your depth and that will be your uh, total width of this foundation and that will be your p which is which is known as the pressure intensity of soil now the ultimate bearing capacity q uh, q u s t of the foundation now can be obtained by the considering the equilibrium of the triangular which is c d shown in the figure below as you can see a c d which is showing in the in the form of uh, triangular and there is a b which will be equal to two a small b and that is your qs which is acting on the soil now come on the uh, bearing capacity equation tajagahi bearing capacity c capacity equation is represented by the uh, 0 0.5 by ny sy plus q and qs q plus c and c sc where b is equals to width of the footing y will be equal to unit weight of the soil below the foundation level and here Q will be equal to Y into DF and NY and Q and NC are bearing uh, capacity factor which is depend on the angle of shearing resistance as you will see in the table number 41. This is the equation of uh, uh, bearing capacity of a uh, soil QST will be equal to 0 0.5 BY NY SY plus Q and Q SQ plus C and C plus SC and this is your safe factor uh, for the Tajabi equation. If your uh, foundation will be squared, it will be 0 0.81 into 1.3. If your shape of foundation will be circular, it will be 0 0.61 and 1.3. If your shape of your foundation will be rectangular, it will be 1, 1 to 0 0.2 upon B upon L. B means width of the foundation L means length of the foundation as you can see in this table now Trajave bearing theory for the local shear failure we will see here Trajave suggested the following relationship for the uh, local shear failure in this file which is equal to uh, 0 0.5 by n u y s y plus q n u q s q plus c u n C U C S, where as you can see, N U Y, N U Q, and N U C are the uh, modified bearing factor, which is represented by the C U will be represented by the two by third capital C. And here is a mere force bearing capacity equation, which is also used in the finding of bearing capacity of a soil in 1951. It, this theory is published and it shows the bearing capacity theory that could be applied to rough shallow and deep foundation the fair the failure surface at the ultimate load under the continuous shallow foundation assumed by the metaphor is this shown in the figure below is this is your figure which is showing the immersion of the uh, foundation and by this equation you will calculate the bearing capacity of that soil In this figure ABC, the elastic triangular BCD is the radial shear zone with the CD being an arch of the long spiral and BDE the mixed shear zone in which shear varies, shear varies between the limits of radial and plane shears depending on the depth of the roughness of the foundation. The plane B is called an equivalent free surface. And here is the formula of uh, calculating the bearing capacity of Tachavahi. As you can see, if there will be vertical load, this formula will be used. Q, 
QUST will be equal to 0 0.5 BY NY SY DY plus QN QSQ DQ plus CL CSC DC. If your load will be inclined, it will be uh, like 0 0.5 BY NY IY DY plus Q and Q, I, Q, D, Q, plus C and C, I, C and D, C, as you can see this equation. Now come on the uh, NN's bearing capacity equation, which is uh, like if uh, your foundation will be act like this, how we will, we will uh, calculate the bearing capacity of soil. By this formula, you can easily calculate the bearing of soil. Now, what will be the effect of the water table on the bearing capacity? As you can see here, the equation for the ultimate bearing capacity by the Tarjavi has been developed based on the assumption that the water table is located at the grade depth. If the water table is located close to the foundation, the equation needs to be modification. Means, uh, whenever we are using Tarjavi equation, we are thinking our water table is very low. That's why uh, uh, our uh, bearing capacity of soil is uh, good. The effective unit weight of the soil is used in the bearing capacity equation for the computing the ultimate capacity. As you can see, the water table is slid over the base of the footing as this would, at the very least, causes construction problem. If it is, however, Q term require adjusting so that surcharge pressure is an effective value and an effective unit weight must be used in the formula. As you can see here, there is water table below the base of the footing and there is water table is a above of the base of footing. Now come on the uh, bearing capacity of a mat foundation and uh, how you will cal calculate the bearing capacity of mat foundation we will know here. As you can see here, the uh, cross ultimate bearing capacity of mat foundation can be determined by the same equation used for the cello foundation, which is equal to QST is equal to 0 0.5 BY NY SY IY DY plus Q and QSQ IQ DQ plus NC SC IC and DC. The term B in the equation above this, uh, it is the the smallest dimension of the mat foundation, the net ultimate capacity of mat foundation here will be QST minus Q. And the net allowable soil bearing capacity is also given, which is equal to QUST net upon safety factor. For mat on clay, the factor of safety should not be less than 3 under dead load or maximum live load. Under most working condition, the factor of safety against the bearing capacity failure of mat on sand is very large, as you can see here. Now we will see the uh, uh, bearing capacity from the SPT method, which we will find by for the mat foundation. The net allowable bearing capacity for mat construction over the granular soil deposits can be adequately determined from the standard penetration resistance number which is given here by this formula you can easily determine the you can easily determine the bearing capacity for the mat foundation Now come on the uh, MCQs, there is a uh, first question is given the void ratio of soil simple decrease from 1.5 to 1.25 when pressure is increased from the 25 tons per meter cube per meter square to 50 tons uh, meter square. The coefficient of compressibility will be here option is given 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.05 and 0. 0, 1 and here right answer will be your uh, A. It will be equal to 0 0.1. Now come on the second question. The efficient coefficient of active earth pressure for loose sand having an angle of 
internal friction of 30 degree is here is option given 1 by third 3 and 1 and 1 by 2 here right answer will be your uh, a it will be 1 by third that will be your right answer now on the next question uh, the maximum net pressure intensity causing shear failure of soil is known as first one is shear bearing capacity net shear bearing capacity net ultimate bearing capacity and d point is given here ultimate bearing capacity here right answer will be c which is net ultimate bearing capacity this question is very important uh, in many exams these types of question have been asked come on the next question if the degree of saturation of partially saturated soil is 60 percent then air content of soil is what will be the air content of soil here point is given 40 percent 60 percent 80 percent and 100 percent here right answer will be 40 percent that will be your right answer come on the next question which of the following settlement is true first one is given here clay are more porous than sand pressure of organic matter in this soil decrease the bearing capacity of soil C is given aluminum cement is used for the foundation in the soil with the chemical deposits. D is given all of the above. Here, right answer will be D, which will be all of the above. Come on the sixth question. According to SI classification, the range of silt size particle is 4.75 mm to 2.0 mm, 2.0 mm to 0.425 mm, 0.425 mm to 0.075 mm, 0.75 mm to 0.022 mm. Here is the right answer will be D, which is given here as you can see, D will be your right answer. Come on the next question, pick up the clay soil group which does not fail when uh, with from the following. Here is given option kaolinite, mite group, and vermiculite group, and monomerite group. Here, right answer will be uh, B, which is mite group. Come on, the next question: coefficient of uh, coefficient of consolidation of a soil affected by compressibility, permeability, both compressibility and permeability, and none of the above. Here, right answer will be your C, which is both compressibility and permeability that is the uh, that is the factor which affect the consolidation of a soil come on the ninth question which is the pick up the pick up the uh, correct statement from the following when water table is above the base of footing the dry unit weight m should be used for the soil below the water table when towel when water content is located somewhat Below the base of footing, the elastic waste is partially moist and soil, uh, partially submerged soil, and suitable reduction uh, factor is used. Third point is given, which is number C. When water table is just at the base of the footing, no reduction factor is used. And D point is given, none of these here. The right answer would be B. When water table is located somewhat, Below the base of footing, the elastic wedge is partially, uh, partly of moist soil, partly submerged soil, and suitable reduction in the factor is used. That will be your right answer. Come on the last question, which is number 10 here, which is number 10. As you can see, we select the incorrect statement. Effective angles of sharing resistance increase as the size particle increase, increase as the soil gradation improve is limited to a maximum value of 45 degree it really more than 30 degree for a fine grain soil here right answer will be c and means it is limited to maximum value of 45. here is the reference of the lecture uh, you can see here uh, there is building code requirement for the structural concrete and foundation analysis and design uh, this is a book which is metro gill uh, Macro Hill, written by the Macro Hill publication, and there is one more book which is Principle of the Foundation Engineering. So, this was the reference, and thank you for watching this video.